today we are out here in downtown LA getting started on this Los Angeles mural that I'm creating on Main and 16th. But before we get started, we're going to head over and pay a visit to the Montana LA store to grab some paint. The spray paint line we are choosing today is Montana 94 because of the low pressure it gives, which is my personal preference to use. The colors consist of maroon, fire red, yellow, light gray, medium gray, with white and black for higher contrast. Before taking off, I had a quick pop quiz. My buddy Chris needed a shop hour sign for the store, so I created it on the spot. You see his bar, like on his A? It's like short, chubby letters. Oh no, it's, it's tight. Thank you. Good to see you. Always good to see you. Oh, here you want some stickers? I don't think stickers. Yeah, I think it's Oh, they're like Montana shop stickers? Yeah, holidays. for the holidays. Yeah. Maybe we only have a few, few days to oh, give them away. Oh, eight made them? Eight, eight made them? Yeah. Of course. These are going to be fucking hard. Yeah. They're never going to come out again. Yeah. That's why I collect them all the time. Damn. Sick. Bro. This food ate. I also want to shout out Montana LA for the constant love and support. Thank you to the team for looking out for me. It is always much appreciated. Alec is the one that's coordinating the whole building. Um, I guess someone bought the property, knows Alec, and he's been coordinating every like roll gate, He's choosing spots for everyone. He told me about this project about two months ago, sent me pictures. My first time seeing the wall was barely the day before yesterday. So I saw it, uh, I came on the lift and I had to check if the lift even reaches. And also we have this this metal pillar right here. So I have like at least a two, two and a half gap away from the wall. It doesn't allow me to be so close to the wall. So. It gives me some type of distance. So those are the two obstacles that I have that's been slowing the process a little bit. And then yesterday I came for a couple hours, sketched for about like half of Los Angeles. And then this morning I finished it off. So today we'll see how far we get done. And uh, hopefully we're done by tomorrow. So two, three day project, it's 48 feet wide by seven feet tall. Is it bigger than the llama? By, by a bit, I think. I believe so. I think the llama only, as far as like uh, width, the llama probably lasts up to like, right, somewhere like right here. I know the llama is long, but I don't think it's this long. It's kind of hard to tell because there was an awning. Oh, so I couldn't right. really like gauge it. I think this one's a bit wider and taller by a bit. But I'm, I'm on a lift versus a boom lift. A scissor lift. Okay. Damn. Just, yeah, it's me tight though. Because once the hard part is getting the sketch down. It took me, it took me four, three hours just to get like four letters down because I was kind of contemplating back and forth if I should move it. The reason why I was contemplating because I didn't want to waste time on doing the whole sketch and then not fitting. But at the end of the day, I was off by a bit, but I've always been wanting to do my cross on a piece. So now I get to do my signature cross on the on the right corner, which fills in that space. It works out, but it's a lot of math, a lot of moving boards and stuff like that. So I've just been putting all these pieces, and lining them up only for the outside wheels. It's gonna be wavy. It's just gonna just be like wobbling back and forth. Oh. And then if it's not leveled, the lift itself will just kind of go ahead and just. I'll go like on an emergency thing and just kind of like go down mm. and it just won't move. I've just been putting these pieces. It's the only pieces that uh, that we had inside since they're doing construction. You gotta be safe too, you know? Earlier, I thought I was um, on the clear, but my back wheel was had no wood on it. So by the time I got up, it like moved a, a good amount to the point that I like, I had to like grab onto the to the rail. Had to get down real quick just to fix that though. Mm. Yeah. Since we just came back from the Montana shop, we'll go ahead and toss those colors on the lift and then start getting uh, the surrendering. Mm. 
Stick next to the, they get, look, they're all next to the cap. It's pretty tight. It's pretty tight that this is going to be the last project of the year. It's pretty sick. This one's about to be here for years, years and years. And it's my first time doing my cross, so pretty excited on that. Finally got to paint it. So right now I'm just making things more solid. I did my first base yesterday at night, and then now I'm just coming back and making, making sure everything's opaque. Opaque, solid, because I am not gonna have the chance to come up here and fix it ever so it feels like level to the floor and I'm able to fix it then I would but I doubt I'd have a chance later on in the future so you really got to make sure that everything's opaque and solid and up to your liking Man, this is getting fucking annoying yeah oh right, bro Fucking annoying, huh? <laughs> Bro, imagine. First, I was thinking about like, you know, obstacles and shit, and then you have like fucking insects. Not that much of a big deal, but it isn't, and it is. It does get in the way. They do bother and affect the way that you're painting. Probably just because yesterday was probably cold and it's getting warmer today or something. Fucking. <laughs> fuck these guys. I just don't want to spray my fucking. my peas. See? Also within the week we had a pleasant surprise from my buddy Donks which is a Los Angeles based calligraphy artist. We were able to catch up and see him finalize his section of the wall. Around the corner, yeah. Yeah, we'll see how far I get today.
What's his name? Uh, Tony. Tony. Mm -hmm. Tony. Mm -hmm. Este lugar ya se convirtió famoso. Mira <risa> cómo estaba. No, ahorita este es el punto de todo. El... <risa> Del downtown. Sí. Pero en la noche así se mira. Damn. Bien clarito. Oh, yeah, that shit looks hard, bro. Yeah. Oh, mira este. Yeah. Vale, gracias por todo. Hasta luego. Gracias a ustedes. Yeah, yeah. <risa> All right, people, we just got done with the Los Angeles right behind me. It is on Main and 16th right here in downtown LA. Me and Austin just came through just to add the signature that's on the left corner. And then I threw my at, uh, which is Alfonso Garcia lettering, right down the center of the piece. With those two things, we're finalizing the project today. I think about last week, they did a clear coat on the whole wall. So it has like a nice finish and then I believe they just added two light on the top so it can have some shine at night after looking at it, it looks good how this project came about was uh, Alec Mr. Alec on Instagram had coordinated this whole project this wall and he asked several artists to come paint certain sections and my section here is the top of the wall I freehanded the whole project we had a boom lift to get up to the surface and uh, we had to move wooden tablets on the floor for the boom lift to be stable and leveled for it to go up so that was one obstacle for the project and then also we had some metal beams for the awning that go across so when i'm raising up sometimes i have to shift to the left or to the right to avoid that metal beam and then i had a, a gap about like two and a half feet of these metal beams also i had to be somewhat distance from my subject so those were about two to three obstacles that i had to deal with 
other than mother nature that's just kind of part of the process rains shines you just kind of have to deal with it and prep your timing for everything I think we finished it like around first week of January. Excited to finalize this in 2022 and then finish it off with the signature for 2023. I can say that this is the second version that I've done of this same font style, color combo. And it's actually my first time adding my cross onto a wall or a painting or anything in general. So I'm pretty excited to add my signature cross onto there. This would be a new version of Delamo Swap Meet. Same style, same color combo, but just more modified and technical. I like this new version of it. It's pretty cool. That shit looks hard, bro. Yeah. That shit looks hard. I can definitely say this is probably one of my best pieces I've done. Like these letters. They look sharp. Yeah, the clear coat makes it look really good. And then like how the letters kind of just like descend off and on from the building, from the windows and the tops. It gives it character. And man, to be honest, this whole building is looking really good. Yeah, shout out to Alec for inviting me, giving me the chance to flex over here. Right in the middle of downtown. Yeah. You gotta come correct for this one for sure. Every project, you just gotta, you just gotta improve with every damn project. We'll see what's next, because I got to do myself every single time. And I feel good about this one. Good feedback from people, all the love from friends and family that have stopped by, whether I've been here or not. Uh, it's been dope to get the feedback. And even before I added my signature, people would hit the gas station, see the piece, and know that it was me because of my cross and my style. So I'm hyped to be able to paint this.